This episode of Hack Tip is brought to you by HipChat. Welcome to Hack Tip, the show where we break down concepts, tools, and techniques for hackers, gurus, and IT ninjas. I'm Shannon Morris, and today we are checking out Wireshark and understanding high latency issues. Now, we have discussed high latency a little bit in my previous Hack Tip, but I wanted to get into a little bit more detail. Now, as you look at packets in a Wireshark capture, you'll notice that with a normal connection, your transmission happens in under a second. And this is completely normal. Now, if I look at something like the ones that are on my computer, I did a couple of packet captures and I found some great examples online, you will notice that throughout all my different packets, they all happen in under a second. So this is totally normal, right? Okay, cool. Now, if you look at a few packets with slow communication, they show up to be almost a second each. Now, that's not something that you would normally find in most of your packet captures. Now, in my second example, if we look at all the different packets on here, most of them are just fine, but you'll see number two and number five are almost a second each, number five being over a second. Now, obviously that's not good, but we want to figure out what is causing that slow connection or that high latency. Now in this case, this would be called wire latency because the slowness is happening on the wire, not the source or the destination. Now what happens if the slow one happens to be an HTTP GET request? If I look at my third example down here, you'll notice that the high latency is occurring over at that gate GET slash HTTP slash 1.1. Now we have discussed HTTP in a little bit in the past on my hack tips, so definitely check out that, that episode if you're confused about what that protocol does. Now in this case, the only laten latency is happening from the client. And you'll also notice that the source here is dot one two eight. The destination is dot one zero four, and it's HTTP, so it's sending from the client over to the destination. So that HTTP is happening on the client. Now, lastly, let's say that there's a slow packet happening that that happens to be from the server as an HTTP packet. Now, if I look at an example of that, we would notice that it's the very very last packet on here. Okay. So that one is 0.9 seconds, so that's pretty high too. We know that HTTP has to go through the application layer and it does take some processing. The server must be having an issue with processing that packet. Now, what does all this mean? We're actually gonna be looking at something called a network baseline right after the break, so stay tuned. How is your team communicating? Are they using a variety of email, texting, IM, cloud storage, and document sharing apps? HipChat puts everything in one place and is designed specifically for businesses. They let you integrate IM, video chat, document sharing, screen sharing, system updates, code sharing, all integrated into one simple platform. Email's too slow, meetings get sidetracked, and regular IMs just don't work well for groups. HipChat keeps your team in sync and it works from any device no matter where you are. They integrate with top developer tools like GitHub, Jira, Zendesk, and more. In fact, there's 57 services that HipChat will play nice with. HipChat brings your entire project and your team communications together. It's also easy to set up, fun to use, and makes your team wildly productive. I've been using HipChat here in our offices to send daring code snippets for my stuff, my Arduino segments over on Hack5. There is a freemium per version, which you can use for free forever, but for the next 30 days, you'll get the full version of HipChat, which includes the bonus features of video and and screen sharing. You can try HipChat for free, no credit card required. Visit hipchat.com slash hacktip, sign up, click on start chatting, invite a few team members, and try it for free for 30 days. Remember, hipchat.com slash hacktip. And for the first 100 signups, HipChat is going to extend their 30-day free trial offer to 90 days. HipChat, your team, your project, in sync instantly. And we're back with high latency issues. Yay, Wireshark. So next, next up is this thing called a network baseline. Knowing what your network baseline is is very important in figuring out a network issue. So a baseline is an understanding of what your kind of latency your network usually runs at and what you should normally expect from your network. If you need a site baseline, you'll probably want to record normal protocols in use, broadcast traffic, authentication sequences, and data transfer rates. If you're doing a host baseline, for whatever your host machine is, record the protocols, the idle and busy traffic and times, startups and shutdowns, authentication sequences, and associations and dependencies. 
Also, if you're doing an application baseline for some kind of different application, you would want to pay attention to protocols, startup and shutdown again, associations and dependencies, and data transfer rates. Now, depending on how busy your network might become, uh, for example, a bank has busiest hours during lunchtime, at least I did when I worked in a bank, and it dies off in late morning or whenever they are closed, obviously. You might want to make several baselines for different times of the day. Keeping your baseline secure, duh, of course that's very important, and making your own little PCAP Wireshark files of each is very, very important so that you have all that research already done whenever a problem does arise, and you'll actually be able to de determine when something is actually a problem as opposed to just normal network traffic. Now, of course, let me know what you think and if you have created network baselines for your own network, send me a comment below or email us tips at hack5.org and be sure to check out our sister show, Hack5, for more great stuff just like this. I'll be there, guess what? Reminding you to, to do what? That's right, trust your tech molest. Bye.